Hey everybody, how's it going? I hope you're having a lovely day. So in this channel, I have a lot of board repair videos and in the description of the board repair videos, I have a list of the equipment that I use along with links to purchase that same equipment, sometimes on Amazon and sometimes from my own online store. And today I would like to unequivocally revoke a brand and a vendor from this list permanently and explain why I'm doing so. So on this channel, I've talked a lot about Crest Ultrasonic Cleaners. Crest Ultrasonic Cleaners were great cleaners to use for putting a motherboard in to clean all the liquid damage off of it so that you had a higher chance of having a working motherboard once you knew that there was no corrosion underneath any of the chips anymore. And I've done several videos going over the quality of these units. I compared it to a Branson unit that I had tried buying for another location and the Crest absolutely beat the crap out of the Branson and the... Uh, this is almost 10 year old video now. I was talking about investing in yourself. Some sacrifice goes a long way. I talked about the apartment that I used to have and how I lived in a place that was filled with mice so that I could afford to buy this ultrasonic cleaner. This is, this is an absolutely disgusting, god awful apartment that I lived in so that I could afford to buy this $500 or $600 ultrasonic cleaner that I was using at the time that was made by Crest. They made excellent, excellent units. And around 2017 and 2018, once I realized that the only person that was selling them on Amazon and eBay was a vendor that I've had horrible experiences with in the past, I decided I would sell them myself. However, I stopped selling them at some point because it became very, very difficult to deal with the company. Crest would often deliver our orders late. They would deliver the wrong orders. They would just not pick up the phone, not answer emails. It once got to the point where my store manager actually spent hours of his time driving out to their headquarters to pick up several of their units because we had customers that were about to come here and kill us if we didn't ship their stuff. And we just couldn't deal with another day of, well, oh, okay, we're going to ship it. Oh, my bad. We forgot to. We actually showed up to pick up all the units. And after that, I stopped selling them altogether. Recently, I bought one of their units because in spite of the fact that they had horrible customer service and horrible shipping delays and everything else, they actually did create really high quality units that were the best at cleaning. And the problem that I had over here is that they kept sending me the wrong cleaner. So they sent me cleaner not once, but twice with the wrong voltage. So I bought a 115 volt cleaner and they sent me a 230 volt cleaner over and over and over again. And this is some, and, and one of them, they didn't even include a power cord. And the other thing here is even if I were to buy a transformer or get another outlet installed, this thing uses a proprietary power cord. So I would not have been able to use it because of the stupid proprietary power connector that they use that looks like XLR, but is not XLR. But today takes the cake. I finally got the right unit from Crest that I needed. And after I got it, I plugged it in. And one month in, it stopped turning on. It just, when you hit Sonic, it, it would make weak noises for a few days. And then it just stopped turning on altogether. It would no longer function. At the point that it would no longer function, I contacted the store that I purchased it from because it's about 45 days old. And they said, hey, it's a, you know, it's all, after 30 days, you got to go to the manufacturer. So I said, okay, fine, whatever. That's not going to be fun. I'll go over to Crest. I go over to Crest and they say, we can't warranty this unit. If you purchased it on Amazon, you need to go through the store. So I go back to the store and I, and I go, okay, well, what's going on here? And they go, well, we are a certified, you know, we're a certified reseller of this product. If you look on the box, you will literally see that the product that we purchased actually was drop shipped from Crest themselves. No argument can be made that this is a knockoff cleaner or a gray market cleaner or anything like that, because the address on the actual box that my ultrasonic cleaner arrived in is the address of Crest's ultrasonic headquarters in New Jersey. So they can't say you bought this from somebody that modified it in some way, shape or form because it was literally directly shipped from Crest Ultrasonics themselves. They were simply a middleman in the transaction, taking my money and giving it to Crest. This unit literally shipped from Crest itself. So I go back to Crest and I say, okay, Crest, you know, like I've been buying your units for 15 years now. I have been evangelizing them on a YouTube channel with 1.7 million subscribers. I've bought at least five of these for myself. We've sold hundreds of these for others. I bought a $2,600 machine from you two months ago, less than two months ago. It doesn't turn on. And they said, you have to go back to the place you bought it. I go back to the place I bought it. They say, you got to go through Crest. So this is the point at which I call the little 1-800 number on the back of my credit card. I call them up and file a chargeback, and I say, I am never going to buy from this company again. So the cleaner that I purchased here is a 132 kilohertz model. My old cleaner was a 45 kilohertz model. The reason that I purchased a new one is because the 132 kilohertz cleaners are going to be a little bit more detailed in the dirt that they get off, and they're also going to be a little bit milder on more sensitive electronics. And a lot of the newer MacBooks use much more sensitive PMICs, they use much more smaller solder balls, and they're much more sensitive electronics. So 
upgrading to this 132 kilohertz unit made sense to us, even though it was very costly. Uh, the problem here is that I have owned this unit for less than 60 days. It was almost $2,600, and I am stuck with something that doesn't actually work because neither the distributor nor the company that actually shipped, directly shipped me the product is willing to warranty this over $2,000 cleaner after I've been a customer for 14 years. And here's the thing that I really have to get into here. If they're going to treat me like shit, what are the chances that they're going to treat you well? Again, if I have 1.7 million subscribers and I've been spent buying from them since 2009 and I've been evangelizing their products and saying how good they are and I have a history of having sold over 100 of their units in my online store and I can't even get warranty service for something that's less than two months old that I paid over $2,000 for that I bought new, what kind of service are they going to offer you? So the first thing I want to do is apologize for the fact that many of my older Border Pair videos have Crest products in the video description links that I have not removed them since I made this video why we stopped selling them. In spite of the fact that I made this video and why we stopped selling them, we'll never sell them again. I still do have links in my video description to where you can buy Crest units from other people. And in my opinion, this was a horrible judgment mistake that I made, and it's one that I'm not, I'm not going to be making again. The problem and the reason that I am using these ultrasound of cleaners instead of cleaners from any other company is when you look at the market the cp500 does not fit the macbook boards the, the p1200 does and when you look at other companies that make cleaners like sharper tech they actually make some really nice ones the problem with these cleaners is that they don't exactly fit very well what it is that, that we work on so you would have to spend upwards of forty one hundred dollars to buy a sharper tech ultrasonic cleaner that can actually fit the touch bar macbook motherboards because something like this over here is just not wide enough to so if you look at the dimensions of it yeah, this, this thing over here where it's like 11.5 inches, a touch bar, an older MacBook motherboard will fit in here, but a touch bar one won't. And all the ultrasonic cleaners that are made by really high-end brand name companies that actually fit a touch bar motherboard cost way more than Crest because Crest is the only one that makes this really wide cleaner that's not really very deep. So it's one of the reasons that I enjoyed sticking with them in addition to the fact that they made a unit of excellent quality. But if anybody else knows of a higher frequency unit that they've used on touch bar MacBook motherboards as well well as some of the newer iPhone series when it comes to liquid damage that have worked really well that don't actually kill the board after you put it in the cleaner, I'd love to know because at this point, it is really important that I move on from this company. I've Again, I've loved their products. I've evangelized their products. I've shown you how good they are in many of my videos. I've urged people to spend more money on their products years before I had my YouTube channel monetized and years before I had Amazon affiliate links or anything like that because I genuinely believed that they were good stuff. But at this point, I, I can't recommend that you buy something where you're going to get treated like shit. And again, if I'm going to get treated like shit, you're going to get treated like shit. So I would suggest not purchasing these products into the future. I am not the only one to have these problems. Many of people have emailed me since I stopped selling them to say that they have had issues with orders from Crest or issues with customer support from Crest or issues getting them to pick up the phone. So it's at a point where it's not really something that's only affecting me. It's affecting a lot of people. So until they actually explain what it is that they are going to be doing differently, I cannot recommend that people continue to purchase these products into the future. There has to be some sort of announcement of public change before I actually go back to trusting them as a company. Again, and the way that I have for the past 14 years that I've been recommending their products and evangelizing their products to all of you as I buy them. I would suggest not purchasing these products into the future until the company makes a public statement on what it is they're doing differently to ensure that crap like this never happens again. That's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. And my apologies to any of you who have had a bad experience purchasing a Crest Ultrasonic Cleaner as a result of the links in my board repair video descriptions. I will do my best to vet these suppliers better in the future before I include links to their products in my video descriptions.